One thing that strikes you about Rush is the heat it gives off. The smoldering rubber, the ever-present cigarettes, and of course the white-hot rivalry between its two racing protagonists. There's immense pleasure to be found in the sharp quipping and odd admiration between the two polar opposites, one passionate and all about speed, the other controlled and all about statistics. Howard's film succeeds in bringing Hunt and Lada's vibrant relationship to life and isn't afraid to shy away from the darker side of both of them. When I first watched Rush, I was just a high schooler, occasionally watching Sunday night football and watching any movie I could get my hands on. But after I witnessed this high speed anxiety inducing drama, I was hooked and enamored by the sport of Formula One racing. The title says it all. The movie is exciting, interesting, and obviously a rush. On screen, Howard manages to tackle the difficulty and danger involved in Formula One racing. This sport is extremely dangerous, and I thought he was able to display that really well. The movie follows the two racing drivers, Nicky Lotta and James Hunt, and their rivalry during the 1976 Formula One Championship, where they both are at the top of the scoreboard. The movie also showed how the sport is organized and all the danger involved with driving the vehicles. We saw crashes and the thrill the men got out of risking their lives each time they buckled into their cars. There's no denying the intensity and realism of the race sequences. The sound design for the cars is incredible, giving each their own unique rumble and making the machines sound appropriately dangerous and threatening. The editing and shot selection is also impeccable, blending shots of real racers with computer animation and an external view of the race with an internal view from the driver's perspective. But while these scenes stand out as exceptional, they're not what has me coming back for more almost a year after its release. With Rush, you may come for the races, but you stay for the characters. The real magic is not to be found in either one of these terrific leads individually, but in their interactions together. Played by Chris Hemsworth as James Hunt and Daniel Bruhl as Nicky Lotta, each fuels the other's ambition. And this competition, which pushes each racer to their peak, brings a real conflict and emotional core to the film. Racing just happens to be a convenient vehicle to portray their struggle and to find themselves through each other. Technically, the film is worthy of high praise. Howard's camera never settles, and its constant movement provides visual flow. The editing is tight and the scenes move at a rapid pace. The period design is excellent and coupled with its cinematography, the film's aesthetic is realistic throwback to a world nearly four decades old. The sound design is crisp and loud, and Hans Zimmer's score accentuates the film's tension and emotion. Its ability to touch on competition and somewhat twist that into a mutual respect stems from Howard's examination into what binds these men together, their passion for racing. The film could have easily turned into another manipulatively cliched sports film, but Howard steers clear of that. Rush is not only the, one of the most exciting films I've seen in the past 10 years, but its sentimental gaze at these two men, detailing all the things they have gone through, similarly, it provides emotional depth that keeps you invested throughout its runtime. Rush is a film that takes a little while to delve into the swing of things, but origin stories often do, so this is not a bad thing. Once it hits its stride, I'd go so far as to say it's one of the most thrilling sports films I've ever seen. Atmospheric, involving and full of emotion it's exactly the unexpected surprise you would hope it to be
tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing my movie essays for my videos. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.